Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to measure HbA1c using the MindRay BS240. This machine uses the enzymatic method, which compares well to other methods like the ion exchange chromatography used by a company like BioRat, and then the uh, another method like the immunoassay used by Roche. So we will be running HbA1c test on our MindRay BS240 chemistry analyzer. So earlier our machine was on sleep, so we go to utility, wake it up to ensure it's on standby before any analysis can be done. So with HbA1c, we use EDTA whole blood. So this is our sample. But we are going to centrifuge it at 2000 revolutions per minute for five minutes before we can use it to do the test we want to do. So while the sample is being centrifuged, we can input our patient details. The, I, the patient ID is 4054. Then we remember that HbA1c, we don't use serum, so we have to change the sample type to other. Then we click on the HbA1c test. We click on Demorg to enter patient details. So the patient ID is 4054. So let's assume our patient is called Alidu. And also assume Alidu is a 40 year old male. So once the basic information about our sample has been imputed, we click on F7 to save the patient's detail. And we click on F8 to save the lab test we have selected. Then we go to list F5. We see that we have Alidu here. The list um, gives us the details of all programmed samples we have and also tells us the position assigned to the sample. So as we can see, Alidu is assigned position 15. So our centrifuge sample is ready and this is how it looks like after centrifugation so we have the plasma and the packed cells the rbc's so we will uncap it so we will uncap it and introduce the sample to our machine so alidu is position number 15 so we would put the alidu sample at position number 15 i hope you can see position number 15 yes then we properly cover our machine then we, we press play to begin analysis so after the test is done it will display your results in this order the first one is the HB that is in a micromole per liter, followed by the HbA1c also in micromole per liter. But you're not going to record all these. The next one is the IFCC value in millimole per mole. You can use that. Then it also gives you the IFCC in percentage. Then more importantly, it gives you the NGSP number in percent. That is what we usually record as the HbA1c value in percentage. So basically, that is how we use the BS240 to measure HbA1c. Thank you.